I wasn't even gonna do this, but you know what? Might as well. I'm about to air it out. I'm about to air everything out. So story time about how Mr. You about to lose your job, Julius, was cheating on me for the past three years out of the four years that we were together. Mm. Oh, and for the people that are like, oh no, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that. Oh, please believe I have his whole confession on tape and please believe I'm gonna put it in this video. So Bitch. this got caught. Got caught living a double life with two different women in two different states. Now, mind you, me and the girl, hey baby, me and her cool. I ain't even got no problem with her because we both were trading stories. So if you see this, hey baby. Either way, um, so yeah, we were together in 2020. That's when we got together. Everybody saw it. It was a whole thing. So apparently he met this girl in 2021 at a club and, you know, whatever. They started a thing and then they had sex okay they they had sex or whatever and so she eventually finds out about me so she finds out about me and my, mind you i know nothing about her i know nothing. he's still coming back and forth as if you know nothing's nothing's changed it's just me and him so we went to new orleans in november of 2022 um with my family and one day we got real drunk when we was down there and then i come in the bathroom and i hear him on the phone in the middle of the night talking about how he missed her and all this that and the third and so i immediately got mad like who the fuck are you talking to because that's not your mama and so he was like oh that's my my like my sister my friend i met her years ago you know way before me and you it was nothing between me and her we we, we just i just had somebody i can confide in and i was like okay you know because i got brothers that i can confide in or whatever so i was like all right cool so then he introduces us together y'all had us on the motherfucking phone talking and everything and she finds out about me mind you she finds out about me and he told her they had a whole agreement that look we just gonna be friends what we did was a you know one-time thing blah, blah blah had it making it seem like you know it was just it was just that that was it so um me and her cool we on the phone hey whatever and so a year later november again of 2023 i'm laying on him and he looks at his phone and so i look at his phone and i see her text him and said hey i made it home baby cakes so i was like why the fuck is she calling you baby cakes if y'all are friends my brothers and sisters whatever they don't call me no shit like that bro what the fuck and so he was like oh it's just a pet name i said well i don't like that and then he ended up confessing that he did have sex with her but it was a year it was like years before and i said so you lied to me a whole year and had me and this girl in each other's faces and you lied to me for a whole year knowing that you had sex with her while like oh a while back and he was like yeah so i broke up with him then but then we end up getting right back together, bro. And so we got right back together. And then he ends up, uh, I told him it was either me or her. So he needed to stop talking to her. So he ends up texting her and telling her, hey, I'm going to keep my relationship with Dream. She told me I can't talk to you, boom, whatever. So, of course, I'm like, okay, great. She's gone. I ain't got to worry about her. But apparently, guys, that was a lie. He texted some other friend and changed the name in the phone and uh, screenshotted it and sent it to me and making it seem like she went off on him and just completely blocked him. And in my mind, I'm thinking, why would a friend block you like that if, you know, y'all didn't have nothing going on, right? So I'm just like, okay, whatever. You know, it is what it is. I ain't thinking of it no more. I just said, you know, we're good. So now fast forward to 20, November of 2024. And she messages me on Snapchat because his dumb ass made a mistake and put us in a group chat together and didn't know because he was texting both of us at the same fucking time. And so she remembered and I remember, but she messaged me and was like, hey, I think it's time that we talk about Julius. And I thought she was coming at me on some, oh, you know, me and him are friends and you just you need to understand that I don't have anything with him. No, baby. She was coming with receipts. She was coming with me and him have been together this whole time. He's been coming and staying at my house when he says he's at his best friend's house. And I was like, girl, whatever, you know, I don't believe that. She starts sending pictures. He was down there this past weekend, y'all, at this trail ride. And they took a picture together, fucking kissing, kissing at her house. And she took more multiple pictures. So I asked him about it. I said, bro, I'm about to fucking, what, what the fuck is this? And he was like, oh, that's an old picture. That's not even recent. I was like, so you've been cutting your hair like this back then. Because when I met you, you had a buzz cut. So that's crazy. And then I'm looking at her and I'm like, she had a kid and like, like she was tiny she was i mean she's not like like she didn't get big or nothing but you can tell a woman that's had a baby and like she had a baby and she developed her woman body if that makes sense and so she 
I can tell that. And then she had twists. And I'm like, bro, I'm looking at her pages. And I'm like, this is the same dress that she had on that she sent me. You're in the same fucking picture in the same fucking hallway. And he's over here denying, denying, and denying, y'all. I'm talking about could not, would not let the fuck up. So then I said, if I find out this shit is a fuck, the fucking truth, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad for you. So then um, she ends up, you know, we going back and forth. But I told him you know what, maybe she just bitter, maybe she just bitter, you know what I'm saying, now this is, I, I said all this before I got all, like, the other pictures, but I was like, maybe she just bitter, so I'm gonna just cuss her out, but in my mind, I know I'm gonna cuss her out, let her cuss me out, let him think that I'm mad at her, and he's, like, nothing, I'm not suspicious at all, right, so, <laughs> so, I get off the phone with him, because he's in the background, and she's like, not him in the background trying to defend himself, and so I immediately messaged her back and said, look, look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cuss you out. I only did that so he would think that I was mad at you and that um, well, I was on his side. But we need to get to the bottom of this shit. And so me and her both just going back and forth, going back and forth, trading stories, filling in blanks. She telling me how he told her he don't, he mean him not even together no more. I'm an ex. When he comes down here, he only comes down here to work and he stays with his friend's house. His friend that he was bringing to my house to help him build patrol cars, that motherfucker knew. And he was going to her house too. His mama knew. His daddy knew. Everybody knew that he had two motherfucking girlfriends. And when I asked him, why would you do this? What, did, what was I not giving you? He gonna sit in my face and tell me, well, she was allowing me to be a dad because she already had has a daughter and and because she liked to take trips oh mind you speaking of trips her birthday trip in june of 2024 he was there he went and told me that was a guy's trip that he was taking into vegas or whatever and in reality <laughs> they were going up there together they're going up good. there together that same weekend this motherfucker had the nerve to come and bring pizza and feed all my co-workers and then go right down there and be laid up with her <laughs> And it's and, and still lying. That's the crazy thing. It's still lying. So me and her basically have been filling in the blanks, man, of everything that did not make sense. This motherfucker is on her vlog over here at uh, her birthday trip, Mother's Day, um, any other little trail riding things. He's been in this trail riding group because of her. He told me he joined it because of, oh, some guys, some gangs. But he's literally been perpetrating this shit this whole motherfucking time, y'all. He's been having me believe that I was valued and I was appreciated and I was the only one for him, bro. He literally had me motherfucking fooled this whole time. And then he kept wanting to, he kept wanting to be like, oh, um, he kept, he kept making me feel like I was the one that would cheat or I was the one that would keep some from him. You know, all that guilty shit, all that I'm doing this, so let me make sure you're not doing the same thing. This motherfucker came and put cameras around my house, put cameras around her house, was tracking both of our locations, like all this crazy ass bullshit just to keep up two different relationships. Two different, and never thought that this shit was gonna get out. Talking about some, I just didn't know how to leave. I didn't know how, I didn't know what to do, which is straight bullshit because I have broken up with him and told him he can get the fuck out and he can go. And so has she. She pushed when she found out that I was around. She was like, You need to go be with Dream. Like, if that's who you wanna be with, we be friends. You could just be with Dream. And that's when me and her was like, Oh, hey, whatever. But then he went to her and lied and told her that me and him broke up and we weren't together. And like I said, for the ones that th that say, oh, no, I don't think Julius would do this, here is the recording. You knew this. When getting in this relationship with me, how cold-hearted I can get when I'm hurt, when I'm betrayed, when I'm lied to. I didn't mean to betray you or hurt you. That wasn't my intention. So what are you called cheating for three years? It wasn't my intention, Jerry. So what was it, Julius? That wasn't my intention. Please. When did it start? And did everything start? Yeah. April 8th, 2021. And when did you meet her? April 8th, 2021. How did you meet her? Creekside. She walked past me and looked me up and down. Then you started flirting with her? Started talking to her? Started the conversation. And it just went from there? It did. It's supposed to be just conversation. Took it fucking around with it. And didn't stop. So when did you actually tell her about me? She found out on her own. That mean you were dating? She found out on her own. And then you 
tried to get us to be friends. So you had sex with her before she found out? Yes. Now I'm gonna speak on this because I've been seeing a lot of these. I'm gonna speak on this comment. And I'm not even gonna hold y'all. A lot I've seen some of the comments and a lot of y'all saying Oh, when you saw the first sign, you should have left in, sis. Or, oh, that's your fault. You're the one that decided to take them back. But, baby, when you're love blind, you're love blind. And a lot of people that are saying that, y'all saying that, but y'all don't know unless you're in the situation. When you got somebody feeding you bullshit all day, every day, and you, you're believing it because it's been like that consistently the whole relationship. And I was, I was fucked up because I kept getting the reality of him and... And the idea of him mixed up. The idea of him was he could do no wrong in my eyes. He was loyal, honest. The only thing he would tell me is a man only has his word. And every time I give you my word, I mean what I say. Sound but like a country nigga. The reality of him, he was a manipulative, two-faced, lying ass piece of fucking shit. That's the that's the reality of him. This man was a sociopath. This man literally sat there in my face. And in her face and lied to both of us, making it seem like he left me alone. He left her alone when he would go back to South Carolina, North Carolina, wherever he was with his family. He was working. He was doing all that. And baby, when you working, baby, I'm not I'm not going to stop nobody bad because I always be in mine. And when he was coming here, he was telling her he was working. Da, da, da. He don't even see me. He don't even come around me. He don't even know where I'm at now. Like all this bullshit, all this bullshit. And then even in the recording, because I only gave y'all like a little snippet of the recording, but in the recording, I asked him, I said, so what was she giving you that I wasn't giving you? Because most people cheat because you're lacking something. This man looked me in my face and said, because she was allowing me to be a father, a stepdaddy. And she liked to take trips. And that was it. And what really, what? really hurts me, y'all, out of all the fucking things, man, like I'm, I'm mad. I know I'm mad. I'm in my anger phase right now. But what really fucking hurts is he knew what I had been through already. He knew, they all knew the hurt that I had experienced when I lost my fiance, when my fiance passed away and I was with him. They all knew that hurt. And he knew that shit too, bro. And he came in my life and made me feel like I could love again. He made me feel like I could, I, I was blessed to not only have found one love in my life, but two. And he knew that my heart had already been fucking broken. And I told him, don't play with my heart, bro, because it's really, really fragile. And I kept giving this man the benefit of the doubt that he he was he was he wasn't doing the things that that most women would be like, oh, I'm about to go look into this. Da, da, da. He wasn't doing those things in my mind. I just knew he wasn't <laughs> yeah, he some was. stuff. Yeah, it didn't make sense. But the way he made me <laughs> manipulated me into thinking that nothing he did was wrong. And, I, and oh, all this bad stuff always happened. He would always manipulate it. And be like something other than this was happening to him. His car was messing up. He had he was getting tickets. All this stuff. All this bad stuff always happened to me. And I'm trying to do good for people. Because you didn't go change a couple of motherfucking tires on the side of the road. You think that that's just, oh, forgiveness. But you've been over here cheating this whole time. Then he would always tell me, you know, oh, don't post me on my page, on your page right now. Because I got some shit going on back in South Carolina. Like legal shit that I can't, I can't be in Alabama right now. So I can't be posted. So for a while, I stopped posting him because of that. And everybody was asking, oh, are you and Julie still together? And I'm like, yeah, we're still together, you know. But I couldn't post him. Same with her. He was telling her, oh, don't post me right now. You know, Dream got her whole social media thing going on. And everybody thinks we're still together. And if you say something, it's just going to mess up something. It's going to mess up her money. All that bullshit. All that bullshit. Don't make sense, right? But yeah, that's what he was telling her too. Now, don't get me wrong. Am I, am I upset? Am I hurt? Did he scratch my heart? Yes. He cut my heart a little bit. Not gonna lie, but my heart was already broken. I had already got my heart broke. I experienced the most hurt of my life. This just scratched my heart, bro. But I promise you, if when I come back from this, I'm gonna be more self-aware. And that's the whole point of this whole motherfucking situation and why I'm posting it, why I'm putting it out there. Women, be more self-aware. Because I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I was fooled. I was dumbfounded. I feel stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna even sit up here and put on the front light. Oh no, nah, I, I knew I didn't know. I didn't know. And if I had have known, if I just would have, if I would have popped up on him, if I would have looked through that phone more. But who wants to have Lord. to live in a relationship where you gotta keep questioning who you with or you gotta keep looking through shit? Who wants to do that? 
Because I wouldn't want nobody to do it to me. And when he told me this is like my this is my sister, man. This is who I've been cool with for years, years. Long down. I didn't think nothing of it because I have brothers that I have never had any type of sexual relationship with at all. Never, ever. And we are cool as shit. And they come over here and we hang out. And I wanted him to trust that. Trust, trust what I say. That I'm when I say this is my brother, I mean that. So I assume when he told me this was his sister, he meant that. She and that broke. was his sister. That was that's who she was to me. And then when she found out about me and she found out that we was dating, she left him alone. She said, yo, I'm I'm cool on you, whatever. She left him alone, said, you need to be with Dream, da 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 da, da And that's left it at that. And they were just going to be friends. So that's when I actually met her. When I actually just, I didn't even meet her, meet her, y'all. I'm going to be honest with you. When I tell you, all I did was say hey to her on FaceTime one time. I was like, oh, hey. And she was like, hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that was it. Because in my mind, she, that's his sister. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? He and then that was out. it. And then between the times, because I'm about to fill in some little blanks for y'all, but between the times of him telling me and her actually meeting, like saying hey to each other on the phone, somewhere in between that, he went back down there and told her that me and him was completely done. So in her mind, we're done. We're not talking. We haven't been together. We aren't together. In her mind, we ain't, we ain't even talking at all. In my mind, that's his sister. That's his sister. That's what I'm thinking. That's what he's telling me. So he would come and when he would go back, he'd be like, oh, you know, I'm about to go hang with such and such for a little bit. You know, uh, her daughter, da, 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 we about to go do this, we about to go do this, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's his sister, blah, blah, In her mind, me and him are done. So they're on dates. They're they're actually doing stuff together because we're not, me and, me and him are not together. That's what he's told, telling her. And then when I found out about the whole mm. them having sex thing. And he said it was happened before. It was a long time ago. And I was mad, y'all. I was mad. And I was like, oh, you son of a bitch. Da, 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 whatever. I'm mad. Don't, like, we're done. I broke up with him then. And then he said, really dream four years, manipulative again. We're four years. You don't let this go. This happened before you. It didn't mean nothing. She don't mean nothing. All of that. All of that. And then, of course, my selfish mind. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just put myself out there. My selfish mind was like, you know what? Cool. But if you do this, if I find out you lying to me again, because you didn't put a dent in our trust, if I find out you fucking lying again, bro, this shit is done. So, of course, he came back. And we were stronger than ever. We were talking more, communicating. It was like everything had gotten so good, y'all. I mean, so good. The relationship was at its best. I know I'm going to get all the, uh, well, that was your own fault. That was your... You don't want to believe that the person that has been literally giving you back what you thought you could never have the smile i thought i would never have again after my fiance passed away i was i was loving it i was loving that happiness i was loving every little bit of it the family oriented life being able to being able to go be with his family being able to go chill with my family like everything was great it was a it was a relationship y'all it was what i thought i was getting and the whole time i was getting bullshit and this is why shit hit the fan this is why everything came out now because the video of me dancing at my friend's wedding, he was at that same wedding. He was working there, like working security guard at that damn wedding. And he snapped her a picture of him at the damn wedding. And she saw the video I posted and said, wait, how come, how are you and Dream at the same wedding if y'all don't talk, if y'all don't speak, if you don't really communicate with her? This motherfucker gonna say, oh, she just so happened to be at the same wedding that I was at. And that, that girl got the searching. She got the searching through everything, combing through dates, combing through all that stuff, and told him if he don't say nothing to me, she will. And he was trying, he was flipping out, y'all. I'm talking about just block her, Dream, just block her. She's lying, just block her. Those are old. Whatever she talking about, I'm telling you, just block her. Just don't even, don't even say nothing to her, Dream. Just block her. Do this one thing for me until I come home. Please, just fucking block her, Dream. Just block her. And I'm like, why would I block her? Why would I, why would I do that if she's giving me information that you're not giving me? And he's like, I'm not, Dream, just, just please fucking block her, Dream. Just do this. And I'm like, why can't you just trust me? Oh, just please, Dream. So then I kept talking to her, kept talking to her. That's when I kept getting, I got the pictures. That's when I got all the information. And then I, I presented to him. I said, bro, are you fucking serious? Those are old. Those are da -da -da -da, all, all. still lying. Still lying. Still trying to hold up this whole facade about what the, like, I'm just like, bro, stop fucking lying. Then I, I go to searching the, the damn trail riding pages. I'm seeing her in the same outfits. I'm like, man, you got me fucked up. 
You really got me fucked up. And got the nerve to sit in my face and say, I got stuck in something that I couldn't get out of. Got the nerve to sit in my face and say, I really did love you. I love you, Dream. How you not? How can you sit up here and say you don't love me? Bitch, I fucking loved every little motherfucking piece of you. That's why the fuck I was still in this goddamn relationship. I was the only one being loyal. I was the only one making sure that when people was telling me this don't make sense, Dream, I'm still defending you. Like a dumbass, I was still defending you. And I could have left a long time ago, but y'all, I was so happy. I was so happy and I was so blind to the fact that this man, this, no, this little ass boy, oh, nah, boy. Could, could just do some shit like this, bro. I was so blind. No way that this man kept up this whole life and this whole different family for two, almost three years. He and had the nerve to sit in my face and tell me he loved me. Then y'all gonna say, if if I would if I could just find it to forgive him, he will try. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. If I could just do this, I'll marry you. <laughs> Bitch, I wouldn't marry if you was the last motherfucker on earth. I'd marry a goat first. Get the fuck out of here. I was a good ass person to him. I made sure this man was taken care of. I made sure that he was good. I made sure that he didn't have nothing to worry about. He was content in his relationship. And here I am being cheated on in a relationship the whole goddamn time and then it's the whole fact that everybody in his trail riding group in south carolina and north wherever the fuck they be at in them carolinas they think they're together they think they're together and then here everybody knows we're together so it's i gotta just say it, it's just a, a whole double fucking life whole double fucking life from this moment forward if you see this julius motherfucking LRB or Locklear or whatever the fuck you're going by because apparently you like to go by different motherfucking names so from this moment forward you don't have shit to say to me don't don't fucking contact me no more don't try to talk to me he gonna tell me talking about oh so you just gonna go ghost on me you just not gonna talk to me dream really after four years don't put mm, don't bring up none of that shit because that didn't mean nothing to you clearly clearly the four years the, the he talking about for the first year dream i was still that man that came down here and drove when i didn't bat an eye at anybody else and i only wanted to be with you and da, 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 da. well that shit flew out the goddamn window like a piece of fucking toilet paper it flew out the window you damn right i'm mm. going ghost baby call me casper and promise you i'm not so friendly because you done fucked with the wrong bitch let's just be real you fuck with the wrong motherfucking person at the end of the day, he ain't nothing but a motherfucking trifling, dumbass, hoe-ass bitch that didn't have the balls enough to just come to either one of us and say, hey, um, I I am not ready for a relationship. I want to do this. You wanted to have your motherfucking cake and eat it too. You wanted to have two fucking girlfriends. At the end of the day, it all boils down to he is a fucking liar. He is a manipulator, a conniving son of a bitch that sat up here and tried to play two different fucking roles. And tried to sit up here and make it seem like he was so innocent. And he and, and, and he would never. But then also wanted to make it seem like, oh, uh, who you talking to? Who you with? Trying to make sure that you ain't on the same shit he on. But he can go out and do what the fuck he want to do. I'm talking about a two cent slut. Low down, dirty dog. That didn't give a fuck about nobody's feelings. But now I want to come back and say, oh, you don't mean, you, you mean to tell me you... You you just you acted like you just never loved me. All that bullshit, bro. All that bullshit. You telling her, uh, oh, me, I don't even go on that side of town with Dream. I don't even see her. Well, baby, now it's facts. Now it's facts. Don't you ever bring your highlighted ass back over here ever a fucking again. Don't you ever talk to me. Don't you ever don't bitch, don't even dream no more. And it's really just the the <laughs> audacity of him. Every time he got ready to leave, y'all, and I would be, I would be here, and I ain't gonna lie, I got comfortable with the idea of him coming and going because I already liked kind of being by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I liked the freedom of okay, being by myself, and then he would come here, and I would get to experience having my man here, and then he just go back, and then boom, I got my peace and quiet again. I was okay with that because it was a long distance thing that I was fine with. It was working for us. But then the days where it got, the, the years it got closer where I wanted him to actually move in and be here. And I sat and I, I would cry a little. I mean, I'm talking about I didn't want him to leave, bro. At the door, literally like a sad puppy crying because I didn't want him to go. And he would cry a little bit. He would drive, down, drive off. 
And in his mind, the whole time, he is going back down there with her. He is going back down there to go, go be up under her and lay up under her, knowing that he had me up here, knowing that I've been through what I've been through. That motherfucker didn't care about me. That motherfucker didn't give two shits about me. He did not. And honestly, like I said, ain't nobody fault but mine. I'm fucking with little ass boys. That was my problem. Mm, mm, mm. Fucking with a little ass, fuck ass boy that didn't know how to actually be a damn man and wanted the idea of having two girlfriends at the same damn time. This well, guess what? what? You wanted two girlfriends. Let's do a little math. You wanted two girlfriends and two households. But guess what? Now you got zero, bitch. You got zero because she done put your ass out and not done put your ass out. So how you feel about that? Sending me a damn long ass voicemail to my dream. I just don't have anywhere to go. I feel like my soul done left my body. Well, now you got a friend. Congratulations. I don't give a fuck if you in your car are living up under a bridge, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Because right now, apparently, the car is all you got. And that shit, that's going to last maybe, what, five minutes after how many times that bitch done broke down. How many cars you done went through. Good luck with that. At the end of the day, man, I'm just I'm just <laughs> like thankful for country, it. the people that are giving me so many kind words. That are they're telling me I'm going to get through this. And, y'all, I know I'm going to get through it, man. But this shit is a whole new level of what the fuck. Somebody call Tyler Perry. Come on, Tyler. Tyler, I got I got a damn movie for you. But you wanna go on your trips? Go be a dad. I don't do shit. Go be go go on your trips. Go, go be a dad. For three years? Three years. And you expect me to sit here and be like, okay. I know that doesn't help my case at all, but that's what I did. I'm not going to bring you to the table. You think I did all of that for nothing? You feel I didn't love you and I wanted to hurt you? And then she found out about me. And then you tried to get us to be friends. Just to keep her around. Make it make sense. <laughs> then you tried to get a new Alabama. I asked her what she considered it. I did. He needs them close. What I did to you was really fucked up. Really, really fucked up. And I feel horrible about it. And I should because I deserve to. I never want to die with you, Karen. I'm not going to do that. No, you are. It's because you're hurt and I hurt you. And I'm the reason you're hurt. The person that you love and you confided in. And that's nobody's fault. You told you love me. I love you. Yeah. When did you tell her that me and you broke up? No. But you told her me and you broke up. Did you? That stuff in the circle and I couldn't get out of it. Make you feel good in two people's eyes. No, she just stayed at home like I was supposed to. I was fine. <laughs> when we met, I wouldn't bat my eye at somebody else. I didn't want to go anywhere. All I wanted to do was be here. What happened that night? I, I don't know. I can't even tell you why I did it. Do I wish I could go back and change it and just stay here? I can honestly say out of all the police shit and the shit that I'm going through, losing you is the worst thing. And what makes it worse is that it's my fault. Nobody else's. I can't blame it on nobody else. I can sit here and say honestly out of all my lies that you are literally and honestly, genuinely the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I know it's hard to believe as much as I lied to you, but you are. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Mm. And me losing you because of me hurts. And you hurting because of me hurts. 
And I know you don't care about my emotions right now. I know you don't care about what I have to say. No, I'm not even crying for you. No, I'm crying because I let myself sit here and be foolish enough to believe your fucking lie. I know I heard you. Bad. Out of everything you've been through. Some things I didn't even know about. I know that I heard you. And I know you've been through a lot. And I was supposed to be that, that, that white knight that kept you away from hurt because you trusted me. And that's what I was doing in the beginning. And I got carried away with some stupid shit and I couldn't let it go. Keep looking at me. Do I regret it? With every bone in my body. Am I feeling like hurt right now? Yeah. Do I feel like shit right now? Yes. I would trade it all in, and I mean that. You would have kept this shit going. I would, I would trade it all in. But you would have kept this shit going if you didn't do it. Cat know he full of shit. And you wanna leave me? So for a reason. You that's why you kept asking me if I was doing shit. I was looking for a reason for both of y'all, so I could choose and leave which one, so I wouldn't be the person to hurt you. I wouldn't be the person to hurt her. That's what I was doing. You want me to be honest? Honest with you. I didn't want to be the person that hurt and had to leave. I wanted to be the person that got hurt and left. I really, dearly, truly love you. And I, when I mean it. When it, I want you to understand what I mean. It is I got caught in a fucking circle and I couldn't get out. I couldn't be the bigger person and let go. I didn't want to hurt you. And, 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 and as much as I hate to say it, I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to be the bad person on either other side. And that's my fault. I couldn't handle seeing you with somebody else. And I didn't want to hurt her. No, because you couldn't handle seeing her with nobody else either. Because she said you get mad at her when somebody tried to hurt her. You wanted both women at the same time, Julie. That's just a, that's plain and simple. I wanted my cake and I wanted to eat it too. No, you wanted both women. But I'm not you lying. wanted to have a whole goddamn thruple ass relationship if you could have. There's nothing you say. It's over. It's done. Case closed. It's no, I won't. I will not. I will not sit here and deal with your bullshit. I won't bullshit you, bro. No. If you just let me get past this, we would be the happiest no, ever, bro. No, yes, no. we will. No. I know you're not going to trust me, and I know you don't trust me. I know you fucking hate me right now, but no. I, do, I do not want to lose you. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm done. I don't fucking care. You're going to get your stuff. You're going to I have nowhere to go down the drain. I know that's not your problem. I have nowhere to go. Yep. I mean, like I said, you got to tomorrow until 6, so you might want to be figuring that out, buddy. Because this ain't your house no more. This ain't your home. It's not. You think I'm fucking stupid, but like you said, you wanted to find a reason so you wouldn't be the bad guy so that I would leave or somebody would leave. You tried to leave and I didn't let you go. So what the fuck is... That's that you contradicting yourself. I'm not contradicting myself. It shows you who I really want to be with you. You can laugh at me. You can talk shit to me. You can roll your eyes. I had my perfect guy. Three times. Yeah, I know. Three times. Three times. Three times. Something's got to mean something to you, Dream. Yeah, I know you, and I've been around long enough to know when you're done, you're done, but something's got to mean something to you. I'm still that same person that drove down here seven hours and stayed a week with you. I'm still that same person that came down here on those dates that you needed somebody with. I'm still that same person. I just fucked up, bro. You're not that same person. Yes, I am. You're I not. am that same person. You're I am not. the same person you met. You're not that same person. <laughs> yes, I am. Because that person actually gave a fuck about I me. I fucked up, Dream. I fucked up bad. You're not that same person. I am, bro. That's the Julius I love. And <laughs> that's who I am. I just fucked up, no. bro. I fucked up bad. Yo. Oh, Cry, not, baby. Yes, it is. I don't know what happened. I don't. You're thinking with your dick. You can say that. But when I came down here and I met you, I couldn't bat my at nobody else. I wanted to be here. I didn't want to go anywhere. What did I do? You didn't do anything wrong, bro. How did it change? I don't know, Dream. I don't know. Testosterone. Not having a, <laughs> a, a fucking committed dad around, cheating and getting away with it. I don't know. 
But by the time I got into it and realized what the fuck I was doing, it was too late and I was too far into it and I was going to fuck around and I was going to lose you. So I had to keep going. I had to keep fucking going. Either other way, I was going to lose you. So I held on to you while I could. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional. Yes, we staying lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my player partner, Lucky Wizard, Dizzy Kesey Lit. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure y'all hit the link down below. We got uh, the custom underscore freaks on Instagram. That's where you can find them, okay? Custom underscore freaks on Instagram. We're going to have the 80K giveaway. Make sure you take a screenshot of every uh, social media platform that you follow me on. Instagram, TikTok, um, Facebook. I got two Instagrams. Everyday Thing with PJ and Everyday PJ. So that gives you two chances for those. TikTok and also Facebook, okay? And those links will be down in the description below. Um, yeah, man. Shout out to my everyday people, man. Shout out to y'all. Y'all really been coming through and holding it down. We got another good one for y'all. We got Mr. <laughs> you are about to lose your job. You are about to lose your girl. You are about to lose your girl. Say it with me now. Dream, you lost dream. I am assuming this is the other chick. Um... <laughs> dream is a baddie, dog. You fumble dream for this one. Now, I wouldn't have drove seven hours for this one. I ain't gonna lie, man. I would have just stuck with dream, big dog. But anyway, that's Mr. Uh, you about to lose your job down there. Being a good old country boy. Changing the tie for a girl, man. Changing the tie for a girl. Um, brother, man, he is a police officer. Um, <laughs> boy, you giving black skin niggas. We setting us back a uh, two hundred years. Good Lord. Anyway, shout out to Dream, beautiful lady, and uh, she was head over heels for this yellow bone boy, and this nigga was just crying. Just cry, boo hooing. It was too much testosterone. Boy, too much testosterone. <laughs> oh, man, that boy can lie. The biggest lie I ever heard in my life was I didn't want to break anyone's heart, so I was just waiting to be the. I was just waiting till I got caught, so I didn't have to make the decision, and then I could choose from. Whoever whoever called me first and left me, then I could go be with the other one. <laughs> so, what? So I'm the constant dream, like I'm the consolation prize, nigga. <laughs> he like, no, I really wanted you. No, that's you. That's not what you said, though. Come on, man, bro. He was he he stuck his foot in his mouth. He really chose dream as a consolation prize. She was the prize, bro. She was the prize. Um, I can't believe that he said that. And I'm going to be honest. Bro, all you had to do was be honest, be honest with these two at this point. All you had to do was be honest. You probably could have had both of them. These two women, I believe, are young enough. And they not dumb, but they would, I believe this one would, because she knew about the girl the whole time. She knew about the other girl the whole time. She kept saying that, oh, I didn't want to do this. Yeah, she knew. She was being messy. She was being absolutely messy, because she knew that you was more in love with the other girl. That's why she wanted to break y'all up. Let's not act like that she wasn't trying to wreck your home. She was. She just didn't like that you liked her more. Okay? And you would leave and go to her. 
So she knew she wanted you more than she wanted you and knew you would never leave her. So in order for her to in order for her to have you, she had to get Dream out the way. So what did she do? She got Dream out the way. And guess what? Now that she knows Dream is out the way, she's going to act like she don't want you. And once she knows Dream is gone and don't want you back, she's going to get you back. I believe that's what she did. Now, you could have had both of them. Because she would have she would have settled for both of y'all. She was considering moving to Alabama. So you so you could have both of them close to each other. She knew why you wanted to move to Alabama. And she was considering it. So I'm not making this stuff up. And I I I have some sorrow for a dream because she's young. I'm not sure how young. I say about mid-20s. She already lost one fiance. So she has some hurt. And she's dealing with a lot of trauma. Um, but she was very much in love with this guy. And. I want to say she'll take him back too. She will, she will take him back. It, she might not trust him. She might not. Um, keep him around. Um, but she, she'll take him back for a short period of time. Then she'll see the same patterns and then be like, nope, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I shouldn't have did it. You're going right back into that same cycle, I'm out. And then she's just going to be lost forever. That's how you mess up the good women, man. So anyway, but yeah, well, this actually, this is not the girl. I'm sorry. I made that up. This is not the girl. I, oh, this is not the girl. I just read the comments. <laughs> I got it. I said, ooh, I would not be leaving. I would not. Uh, I'm sorry, lady. But this is not uh, the, the other side chick. But, um. Yeah. She decent. But this is Dream's friend. But um damn that would be that's probably y'all forgive me. Cause uh she probably gonna be mad if she see this. You can't call me ugly. I'm just saying. Dream is pretty fine. And if if you if he cheated on Dream. It don't matter who he cheated on Dream with. He could treat cheat on Dream with someone just as fine. That means he cheated on two two fine women. That's dumb. How you man? Listen, bro, you tripping? If you know you're tripping, get your life together, man. You a police officer? Don't nobody want no police officer out here cheating, Mister Lieutenant Julius Locklear. Don't nobody want you out here cheating like that. That means you're going to go steal. You're going to be taking bribes and all that stuff. You can't be a cheater. Okay? You're going to be sleeping with women that you arrest. Mr. Mister Lieutenant. Yeah. We're not doing that, Lieutenant. Anyway. Everyday people, man. That was a good one. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.